guys, I wanted to do this video pretty much from the time that we went to Florida. Um, just I wanted to go over some of the um, fun things that we did and um, you know how much they were just basically you know specifics of each thing. If you want information about or video of the actual activities you can refer to our vacation 2019 Florida. Um, this is where we did it. everything we did was pretty much in central Florida. Um, so um, I just wanted to, to go over all the different things that we absolutely loved. We had such a good time on this trip. Um, it was just, um, we wish we could go back. It was so much fun. Um, so I just want to go over everything. The very first thing that I want to talk about is was our favorite thing. And our absolute favorite thing was Tampa. T the Tampa day was the best day. Which kind of is a bummer because it wasn't a day that my dad came with us. But it was still, it was our absolute favorite day. So what we did is we went down. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the aquarium. It's the Florida Aquarium in Tampa. And it is... 701 Channel Side Drive in Tampa, Florida. They are open from 9.30 to 5 for normal general admission tickets. And there's uh, other things you can do there too. Their telephone number is 813-273-4000. I will try to put this information below. Um, so first things first, parking. So um, initially we had planned on going down and parking in the parking garage because we were going to be there all day long. It was 4th of July and we knew that after the um, aquarium we were going to go to the um, Riverwalk in Tampa, but um, we had no idea how much there was to do with the aquarium. The aquarium, awesome, awesome, awesome. We've been to a lot of aquariums, this is by far our best. So um, I think we paid $6 to park at the actual aquarium. Um, if you park in one of the parking garages if like you're just going to do something else I'll talk about the parking garages in another section but um, to park at the aquarium I think it was six dollars I can't remember I don't have my ticket from that and I didn't write that down but I think it was like six dollars and we could park there until midnight so um, that's probably even cheaper in all honesty to park there than it is to park in a parking garage even if you're not going to the aquarium side note so um, so we went to the aquarium. It was uh, way bigger than we thought it was going to be. We had the best time ever. Um, so we just got general admission tickets and I recommend you buy your tickets ahead of time because they are cheaper if you buy them ahead of time. Plus they have two separate lines, one for people that have bought them ahead of time and people that are buying tickets. The buying tickets line was a lot longer and it's outside. It's not air conditioned so you're standing there in line um, trying to get through the door. Buy your tickets ahead of time. Um, we paid again I don't have a receipt right here I apologize we paid $80 I think for the four of us Keegan was free anybody under five I think was free Nate was I don't know, we were 25 I think Paul and I were 25 and Nate was what would that be 50 60 70 8 20 I guess that sounds right right so overall it was like $80 plus parking was 86 so we did just a general admission. So um, the aquarium, a general admission ticket, which is what we got. Um, there are different tickets that you can buy. General admission, I think, was just the lowest. And what that includes is that includes the aquarium, that includes the um, splash park that's there, and the 4D theater that's there. All awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's just, it was just such a great experience. So there's different parts of the aquarium. There's um, hands-on stuff, that, and if you want to see this in my video, just refer back to our Vacation to Florida Vacation 2019 videos, um, where you actually can see us going through these things. But um, the there's a lot of, like, we could, we touched the, uh, well, Keegan and Nate touched the starfish. You could do a touch of the sharks and stingrays, but each time we went there, they were on a break. Every so often, they give them a break so that people aren't, you know, it makes sense. Um, but every time we went back there to catch it, they were on the break. I think they break like every, I don't know, 45 minutes or something. I don't know. But um, there's also a, a little cafe there. Another thing to mention is you sometimes other places that we have gone, you can bring in like a packed lunch. You, you cannot bring any food or drink into this. So um, you either have to um, buy stuff there, which it is expensive. We bought food there. Um, and... I mean, it wasn't like outrageous, but it was expensive. I think um, we got chicken nugget or chicken tenders for the kids. It was probably like ten dollars or so. Um, so if you're like, a, I don't think we, because I don't think Paul and I ate. I can't remember. 
but um, it, it was um, it was a, a decent price to eat so take that into consideration too um, but it was it was a lot of fun um, the splash park we did not play at very much had we gotten there early we would or we would have but um, it stormed really bad by the time we were sitting down to eat and then we were gonna go do the splash park and the um, 4d video theater and it was um, it was storming so we had to wait they called everybody out and the 4d theaters right off there so they closed that as well but it stopped raining and we got to do that the kids love the splash park they have conveniently located um, changing uh, areas for men and women and, and the kids and um, they it's just it they have like a playground aspect to it and then there's like the water aspect of it it was it was just it was really great for the kids kids really enjoyed that and it's Tampa so it was hot um, for the 4D theater, when we were going, they had two different shows. They had a really, they had Octonauts, um, and then they had um, a sharks, a shark show. If it had not been storming, we probably would have done both because they run every half hour. But we caught the Octonauts show, and it was so super fun. Um, it's so by 4D, you put 3D glasses on. It's in 3D. But there's also like things that come out of the ceiling and things that poke out of your chair and around your feet. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but it was awesome. That was one of the highlights of our trip. We all really enjoyed that. Um, let's see what else. Anything else in the aquarium? You could definitely spend the day there, though. That That's definitely um, a good day trip. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about is Tampa itself, the river walk. Um, the river walk is a couple miles long from what I understand. We um, walked a good chunk of it, probably half of it. Um, there are so many spectacular views um, right at the beginning of the river walk. So if like you do do the aquarium and then do the river walk like we did, there is, um, they're, they're only like a couple blocks apart. There's a trolley system that runs throughout that area. Um, it's free. Kids are really bummed we did not get to do that. We're gonna do that next time though it was just too packed after fireworks but there's um, along the river walk there's a park there's plenty of benches to sit down um, there's restaurants there's plenty of places to take pictures we walked over the bridge which kind of crossed like where the river lies off we walked over the bridge um, if you do go for fourth of july i absolutely would recommend it they had vendors in the park and um, food and, and drinks and just all kinds of fun stuff um, we ate at a restaurant there. It wasn't bad at all, uh, price-wise. And it wasn't, like, super packed. Like, it was busy, because it was 4th of July, but it's not like... There were pl plenty of places to sit down. You had plenty of room. Like, sometimes here, when we go from 4th of July to certain things, like, if you don't get there several hours ahead of time, which is kind of what I was thinking there, and find somewhere to sit, you're not going to find somewhere to sit. Well, that's not how this was, because we sat at the restaurant, and we sat there for probably 7 or so, walked back down to the park, there was plenty of places to see because they had the fireworks going off in three different areas. I absolutely would recommend that for 4th of July. We um, are planning our next trip to Florida and we are kind of bummed because we don't think we're going to go for 4th of July. And we loved that so much. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to go back to the Riverwalk and, and walk the whole thing. It, it's There's a taxi system, a water taxi system there that you can pay for like an all day ride or they have like an after 6 pass very reasonable if you google it we didn't actually do that because of the fireworks they um, had closed that down early so we didn't get a chance to do that so definitely do that next time as well um so that pretty much takes care of tampa um but yeah definitely number one on our list number one um we also did the boat ride it was just a private little uh boat ride um in winter haven florida and that was with Living Water Boat Cruises. There's a web page and you can email them at info at livingwatercruises.com. The guy was awesome. His name was Rue, Rue Denton. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He was just, he was so informative. He had all this information on the history of these um, lakes and um, we drove by like, like Legoland where they do shows and stuff. It was just, it was really cool. Um, and the first time that was a little on the pricey side we initially were going to go for two hours and it was a little over i think it was a hundred dollars i think it was like 101 or something we were going to go for two hours 
but because of the heat index he knocked it down to one and gave us a refund and the one hour wasn't as good of a deal it was I say like $65 I can't remember for all four of us again I think Keegan was free but um, it was awesome I would highly 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 recommend him um, 24 you'll if you watch my videos again he says in there that 24 of the lakes are connected in that area and they take you um, through a bunch of them um, so and the other thing with that the first time you ride you're paying full price second time you ride you get a percentage off and then the third time you ride you get an adult ticket free awesome awesome you can also pay because it's just a small boat it's just like it, it's his private boat um, you can also pay extra to have the boat to yourself. We had the boat to ourselves anyway because nobody else had booked it. Um, and it was just, well, again, well worth it. Well worth the money. Um, let's see. And these are, the after Tampa, these are in no particular order. We had just as good a time as any of them. Um, we also visited uh, Fort Island Beach in Crystal River. That's where we had gone last time uh, when we went in 2017 with my dad. Um, he didn't go this time because we had to wait for a storm to pass and it was kind of late when we went but I'd actually recommend it I actually would like to go back late again because there was hardly anyone on the beach and by the time the sunset came down there was only like maybe two or three other people there and it was just gorgeous it was absolutely gorgeous um, it's a very clean beach it's um, um, you don't have to pay to get into it it's not like a state park or anything you just drive up, park, and there's your beach. You can take a picnic lunch. They do have some picnic tables and things like that. Um, they have restrooms right there. They have, um, I mean, pretty much if you bring a picnic lunch, you could easily spend all day there, and it'd be a very cheap day. Um, and again, that's right in Central Florida as well. Another beach that we went to, st st sticking with our beachy theme, we went to Honeymoon Island, which was a couple hours away from my dad. Um, but it was definitely worth it. That again, that was a crowded beach. It was very, very crowded. Um, I would probably, if I had it to do over again, I'd probably get there earlier um, in the morning. But it's hard to because it is like two hours from him. Um, but it was definitely worth it. That on the Fort Island Beach, we have—I don't think we ever found a seashell. Maybe we did the first time. I think Nate found a couple little teeny tiny ones. But um, these, that Honeymoon Island is covered in seashells. And I had read before we went down there that if you go when the tide is low, and that's, it was starting to go out, when we were about to leave, we found hundreds of shells. So that is a really cool, cool place to go. Um, one of the best things about that is when we were packing up to leave and getting Keegan ready, the tide was coming in, and you'd see all these teeny tiny little shells. And I thought, and it happened a couple times, so I was like, oh, that's cool. Then you see them wiggling to the ground into the sand and it's little teeny tiny baby crabs and so it would come in and there'd be like 50 of these things and they would just wiggle down the sand it was really cool i got that in video i don't know how well you can see that again watch that video but um it's it is definitely cool um let's see here um so um i wanted to talk about a store that i went to it was like an antique um, thrift type store not really a thrift store it's more like an antique uh, little boutique um, it was called transform treasure and it's at 414 East Liberty Street in Brooksville Florida um, it was an awesome store I actually went there twice because we went there on the way to we went by it twice must be on the way to Tampa and then to Paul's brothers I can't remember but the first time I went in, and I had to go back the second time because I wanted to get the antique windows that I saw. But um, really reasonable prices. They did have discounts because it was 4th of July. Oh, I think it was. I think it was when you were going to Tampa. Um, really reasonable prices and lots of cool stuff. It's a pretty big area, pretty big store. And then there's, it's like, it's like a house that was broken up. And so like in a room like the size of my office would be like one cellar stuff. It's like, uh, it was just really cool. Lots of, lots of, lots of cool stuff to look at um oh real quick back to honeymoon island too um, they are open 8 a.m to sundown it's at one causeway boulevard in dundon d-u-n-e-d-i-n florida it is eight dollars per car load because that is a state park to get into that and you can check the tides online to see if you want to go around low tide or whatever um let's see what else so that store was one of my favorites, so on that note. We also went to Homosasa Wildlife Center again. We had gone there in 2017 as well. Um, it is a state 
Park. It's at 4150 South Suncoast Boulevard in Homosassa. It's a really neat place to go. It was hot, hot, hot this time when we went there. I think it was hot last time too. It's Florida, but um, we had a good time. Um, lots of things to see there. Keegan absolutely wanted to see the alligators, and they were right there next to him where he could see them. Um, they have Lou the Hippo, who is a, um, a citizen of Florida. They made him an honorary citizen. Um, you take, you can, t you can get, so where you go into the building um, initially, you can take either a trolley, which is what we rode back on, or you can take the boat on the um, water to get there. It's included in the tickets. You don't actually buy your tickets till you get to the park on the other side. Um, my dad paid for my tickets. I had written down, okay, so adults are $13, Nate would have been $5, and Keegan was free. They're open 9 to 5.30. Um, their telephone number is 352-628-5343. A really great thing for everyone, though. Um, they had bald eagles, they have flamingos, they have, like I said, alligators. Um, Lots of things to do. You can definitely spend the day there. There, um, we ate there in 2017. This time, we just kind of got snacks to go. Um, their foods are food is not priced badly. There, in all honesty, it's it's very decently priced. They have a gift shop, of course, um, which is you know gift shop prices. I did buy Nate a T-shirt, though. I didn't think anything was like ridiculously. Um, ridiculously expensive so um, I would definitely recommend that um, I foresee that every time we go there um, we would probably go there just because I think it is just such a fun nice place to be and it's a nice place to spend the day there's a lot of walking but it's all on like um, very nice uh, it's either on like uh, wooden like truck stacking or whatever or uh, paths that are very um, clean there's a little there's a couple places to kind of cool off while you're there. You can go, like I said, to get food. There's also an underwater where it goes, you walk downstairs and it's like a glass observatory that you can, it's really super cool in there. Um, like from the heat wise, I mean, it's neat as well. But um, the other thing is they have a um, little place for the kids. It's like a, a little nature center almost where they do these little tra uh, drawings where you put them over the wood and you just color over them as a turtle and it's air conditioned in there there's bathrooms in there um, and they also do like sell ice cream and things like that or water or whatever this you can take stuff into um, we've we always took water we took water this time we took water last time um, so you could absolutely pack a lunch and you know enjoy it for the entire day at a very very inexpensive cost and the only other thing I'd say is that there are a ton of thrift stores. If that's something that you're into, I did not write down all the ones um, that we went to because we went to a ton. But um, right in where my dad lives, which is Lacanto, um, there was my probably my favorite one of the trip was um, the um, hospice one that was right up the road from him. So. Um, that you know just google thrift stores and you'll find a ton but overall um we we're very happy with the vacation we we're very happy with the way that everything went very happy with um we did have a little bit of a lack of budgeting we didn't necessarily stick to our budget um but that's vacation what are you gonna do so that's it if you have any questions let us know but um we hope that you guys uh t are able to at some point Take a trip to the area and experience these fun things. Bye.